In this short video tutorial, we will understand how to check for odd and even numbers by writing a simple C program. Now, in one of the previous videos, we discussed about the modulus operator in C. The modulus operator looks like the percentage sign and the job of the modulus operator is to give us the remainder of the division operation. So if let's say we divide 5 by 2, the remainder should be 1. So if we write 5 modulus 2, the answer should be 1. But if we write 4 modulus 2, the answer should be 0, which means that 2, that when we divide 4 by 2, there is no remainder that we get from this operation. So if you have to check for odd and even numbers using by writing the C program, you have to make use of the modulus operator and check for the remainder and see if the remainder is 0 or some other value. So if the remainder is 0, that means that the division operation is successful and there is no remainder. So let's write a small program and see how we can check for odd and even numbers by writing the by using the C language. So over here I am declaring an integer variable a and I have given it a value 5. So 5 is an odd number therefore if we divide it by 2 the answer should be should be something uh, the answer should be 1 which is not 0. So therefore this can help us check whether the number 5 is odd or even. So inside the if statement I have written a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0. Then the number is even else the number is the number is odd. So let's understand what we have written over here. We are making use of the modulus operator and we are dividing and, and we are checking for the remainder when we divide the variable a with number 2. Now over here the value of a is 5. So if we divide 5 by 2 the remainder should be 1. Therefore this condition should return false and therefore the code inside the else statement should execute. So if we run this program, if we run this program, the answer should be odd. So let's run this program. Notice that the result of this of this program is odd. Now if we change the value of a to 6, which means that a has now become even and we run this program, you will notice that the result that get print that gets printed on the screen is even so whenever you have to check for odd and even numbers using the c program you should make use of the modulus operator and check for the remainder of the operation the same concept of using the modulus operator can be applied to other concepts also wherein you want to check that whether a given number is div is divisible by the second number or not so if the result of the modulus operator is 0, that means that the numbers uh, that you are using are actually divisible, otherwise they are not. So with this, we will end our short tutorial here. To access our complete C programming course, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we post.